Hi, this is P. R. Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange and Tradex Dot Live. Markets fell as expected. Today morning, I clearly want that you know. Now I am not. Uh, until yesterday, I was very very optimistic, and today because of this news, uh, tax treaty with the Mauritius. Uh, tomorrow I'll come out with a detailed video, but as of now, there is some problem. And as I told you, in the past 15 years, as and when major corrections came, most of the time major corrections came along with the global queues like Lehman Brother collapse, coronavirus like that, or it has come because of this FPA taxation issue. Uh, at the same time, this time it's not as bad as last time. But anyway, tomorrow uh, I will give you more details. But today, as expected, markets fell, and as expected, FIAs have sold heavily. FIAs have sold for eight thousand crores, and the domestic institutions bought for six thousand three hundred crore, but could not stop the slide. So, in pre-market, I mentioned very clearly that this is time to be very very cautious. Though technically market is long, but you know, this kind of material news. Can you know change things overnight? Uh, luckily, you know we did not gap down 300, 400 points. You know uh, markets traded, market gave opportunity for people to exit their long positions. So as I told you, now it clearly time to cut down your long positions and maybe you can add a little bit of short positions. Now uh, TCS came under some kind of a short covering. But TCS is not a very big index heavyweight because you know uh, the free float is less in TCS, so that did not impact. But all the banking stocks fell, and HDFC Bank fell like anything. And in fact, HDFC Bank contributed the highest number of points for the fall in Nifty. So it is not only Nifty, even the broader market, because you know this is related to some kind of a sentiment issue. Uh, everything fell a little bit. Nothing fell big, but everything fell little bit. So the overall impact was seen in the index levels. I think all indices uh, are in red, and uh, you know. Uh, but after the market hours, TCS has come out with results. As per some media report, the results seems to be good. I think it beat the expectation. But same thing is not true with the U.S. markets. And U.S. markets, I think the markets are not happy with the you know, first set of results like Citi, J.P. Morgan, and Wells Fargo. I think the U.S. futures are falling now. So it's going to be a you now tale of two markets next week. So we are going to see how we are going to move and how the U.S. market is going to close today. Now, uh, looking at the open interest, as I told you, today is the day they will be. Uh, creating more open interest. Uh, in, when it comes to Nifty, twenty-two thousand seven hundred calls has been added in huge quantities. So that means people are becoming ultra bearish. Uh, twenty-two seven hundred is just only two hundred points away, but we have three more trading session. Remember, next Wednesday is a public holiday, so we have only three more trading sessions. And Bank Nifty. You know, we have only two more trading session for Bank Nifty expiry because next Wednesday is a holiday, so therefore Bank Nifty expiry will be brought forward to Tuesday. So in Bank Nifty, forty-nine thousand call has been added in uh, huge open interest. So clearly, watch for twenty-two seven hundred on Nifty and forty-nine thousand on Bank Nifty, and markets are likely to be uh, bearish, but. The markets may not fall much, but at the same time, the upside also seems to be capped. I think now we are back to square, twenty-two thousand five hundred to twenty-three thousand box, and markets are consolidating. And today, a few significant things. One significant thing is that earlier I told you when twenty-two thousand five thirty-five was crossed, technically market became long, but now that level was broken on the downside. So therefore, now technically market is not long. At the same time, technically market is not short. Also, you can say it's a neutral zone. 
Second thing is that you know though 22,535 was broken on the downside, but the Nifty did not close below 22,500. So once it breaks 22,500 on the downside, closing decisively below that, then the box 22,500 to 23,000 will be violated. So again, market will be going back to the older one 22,000 to 22,500. Now, so we maybe we can we have to wait for one or two more days to see what is going to happen to our markets and uh, but definitely uh, this is time to be very very cautious and especially when US markets also uh, not going very well. So yesterday because of short covering markets went up and today it is going down again and uh, but you know anyway in US it is a technological stocks that are expected to declare good results. But the first set of results come from non-technology stocks that is like banking and other stocks. So therefore, you know, uh, even US market is also uh, in the last one month is just completely uh, consolidating. It is making a big move up and down, but close to close basis from March 15 until now, uh, market has not gone really anywhere. So we will see uh, today is a Friday, so there is nothing much to talk. So, we will talk on Monday, uh, of course, Sunday we will talk about the Lull Street Week Ahead program also and tomorrow we will talk about this Mauritius Tax Treaty show also. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.